Hey you all and good morning. Actually it is afternoon. I uh, slept in a little bit, a little bit today. You know one thing about the theme park videos, they can be a little bit taxing. Specifically like theme parks, amusement parks. It's just a lot of walking, a lot of waiting in line, a lot of uh, you know, standing around waiting for for things to happen. So they end up being really long all day. So it does it catches up with me every once in a while. So sometimes I do need to take a few hours in the morning to to get a few bonus hours of uh, of sleep. Um, I did want to you know I do read the comments in the comment section. I, I try to read every single comment, even if I don't get a chance to respond. And a few people just asking about Jen, um, how Jen was doing. Jen's doing Jen's doing great. Uh, Jen's back at the house in uh, in North Carolina, um, and she hasn't been able to put a video out on her YouTube channel in some time. I think that's why some people were wondering her YouTube channel, Jenny Penny, um, which has a lot of fun stuff, toy collecting, shop, toy shopping videos, and um, as well as she's been covering some of the personal updates at uh, with the, with the move. But she hadn't put out a video in some time, and um, one thing happened is she she came down here to uh last time i was in florida it was about two weeks ago um she came down and um she visited me went to the royal rumble together and unfortunately while she was down in florida she kind of tweaked her knee she has some knee problems and she tweaked her knee so that's she's kind of been in recovery with her knee since then and um you know me and jen we do end up spending a lot of time separate from each other you know i have this uh this this crazy profession lifestyle whatever you call it you know where i film these travel videos so um you know that means we don't always get to spend as much time together as i'd like um just because my job requires me to be uh, gone from home so much and she does join me um on the road sometimes um now some of her health issues make it so she cannot um travel all the time with me um, especially like at the pace, you know, when I'm filming videos like crazy and be in a new city every day, you know, that's way, way too intense for her. So sometimes she'll come out with me and sometimes, you know, if she's not feeling well that day, maybe she'll stay behind in the hotel room recovering while I'm, uh, while I'm out filming and running around. But, uh, hopefully I'll get to spend more time, um, at home the end of this, end of this month. I'm planning on taking a little bit of time at the house. I'll still be making videos, just maybe doing a little more local, uh, a little more local stuff and uh, again check out uh, Jen's YouTube channel Jenny Penny she does some uh, toy shopping videos uh, toy collecting and she's been doing some updates as well like I said it's been a while since she's been able to put a video out but uh, hopefully she'll uh, get back into the groove of thing uh, groove, groove of making uh, making videos again but uh, we got something we're gonna we're gonna do here today so uh, please follow me. The one thing I like to do when I come out here to Central Florida is to stop by the Lakeland Antique Mall here in Lakeland, Florida. We're about 30 minutes from the uh, the amusement parks of Central Florida and uh, it's a little, quite unassuming uh, little uh, antique mall here. It's actually known for its uh, collection of theme park items. They end up getting uh, things from Disney, from Universal that they uh, put on sale here. So I always like to stop by and check see what they have. I don't know if I'm planning on making a purchase today. Um, I have purchased things here before. I bought uh, I bought a, a fiberglass, my fiberglass skunk stenchy here last time I was here. So if we see something great, maybe maybe I'll grab it. But uh, always just fun to check in uh, what they have here. You can see uh, right here, before we go in, there is uh, a ride vehicle of some sort. What is this? Let's see if we can see. So that is uh, a Magic Kingdom Tomorrowland Star, a Star Jet. I, just, I don't know. Where, is that? A, I guess that's a ride that's no longer there. I'm not familiar with the Star Jet. I don't know, I'm familiar with the uh, Astro Orbiter, which is a, maybe a similar ride. But yeah, I would love to have that. Unfortunately, I do not have thirty-five thousand dollars to uh, spend on that. But impressive nonetheless. Anyways, yeah, let's head in. Already excited. This is Paul. See, so yeah, again, looking at the, the Star Jet here. Like I said, I'm not that familiar with this ride. It, it does look, yeah, it looks very similar to the Astro Orbiter. 
uh, like I said, I think that's okay. This may actually be just the precursor for the Astro Orbiter because that shows that on top of the people mover, that's where the Astro Orbiter currently is. So, wow, yeah, if you know anything about the Starjet, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Here's the turnstile from, uh, from Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. It's pretty amazing. You can see the counter on there, how many people have gone through there. 9,753, probably a lot more than that. That's probably uh, probably uh, reset at some point. And this, this is amazing. This is the uh, Space Mountain cart from Disneyland. I actually love the uh, Disneyland. Uh, Disneyland Space Mountain to me is, is better because the, uh, the Florida version is more like a toboggan. You sit on the ground. Here, the uh, Space Mountain ride, at, uh, at Disneyland, you actually sit in a proper seat. See Pooh's ready to, ready to uh, hop aboard Space Mountain there. And look at this, you can see they actually have speakers there behind your head to play the soundtrack. That is truly amazing. That is a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun in here. Look at the Velociraptor greeting us. But look who's lurking right below the Velociraptor. That is little Boo from uh, Universal, from uh, the, the Halloween celebrations, the little Boo scavenger hunt. This is the uh, Jurassic Park version of Lil Boo. And uh, yeah, they have the different versions. You went around the parks trying to, uh, trying to find Lil Boo. And uh, I remember, I remember finding him. He was in the dino store in Jurassic Park. I did, I went around to my, my video. I went and found every Lil Boo. It looks like he's a thousand dollars, which, man, he'd look pretty good. Uh, pretty good sitting in the bunker, don't, don't you guys think? Elephant here says he's from uh, Disneyland. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing like coin-operated animals like this in any of the parks. But this may be, this may be rather old. It actually. It's uh, 10 cents. It runs off dimes. It seems that uh, maybe that may that, that may date back. And look what we have here. We have one of the uh, logs from Splash Mountain. Now, looking at that, I'm thinking this is uh, the Disneyland version. Um, the the Disney World version is much larger. Have uh, have larger seats. So I think this. Uh, this is the Disneyland version, of course. You see uh, Rare Rabbit's head there engraved on the front of the log. Then you have the big like groove there where it catches the water, where it causes the uh, the splash, if you will. Oh, that's so amazing. So amazing to have this up close. Actually, actually pet Rare Rabbit on the head. And look up there. So the Brer Rabbit. I don't know if that is actually part of the ride or part of the theming, or if that's like a, just an artist's rendition of Brer Rabbit. That's still pretty cool. And then there have a uh, Splash Mountain. This is this is an opening day promotional umbrella. So I know Splash Mountain artifacts, uh, antiques, pretty valuable because the rides are gone now. That's an opening day souvenir there. I guess you have an umbrella to help prevent the water from splashing you. Some items here from uh, Splash Mountain. Uh, Br'er Bear, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox. Got some uh, Disneyland tickets with uh, the characters on it. Pretty cool little postcard there. And uh, I remember this from when I was a kid. I, you know, Song of the South wasn't on wasn't on VHS. It never was, um, so I never saw it. But uh, they had this sing along here that had uh, Disney songs and me and my cousin I remember would watch it endlessly and uh, we loved we loved Zippity Doo Dah thought it was a uh, thought it was an amazing song loved to sing along with that wow if I had a VHS player I may consider buying that a few country bear items here got the Big Al cookie jar the ceramic Big Al I have a ceramic Henry in the bunker but uh, not a Big Al I think if I ever started collecting tiki mugs, I would uh, I would go broke because I, I love all the different uh, creative tiki mugs here. That's a Nutcracker 
tiki mug there. So that's uh, Monstro, the whale. And, uh, oh, is that, okay, that's like supposed to be Walt Disney himself as a, uh, as a tiki mug. These are all from, uh, from Trader Sam's. That is a Tigger foot. So like the costume character would wear that uh, over his uh, over his foot, like a Tigger boot. That's amazing. There's a Jungle Cruise uniform there. That's $795 to dress like a skipper from the uh, Jungle Cruise. You can get that outfit, find your own boat, come up with some of your own jokes, and uh, have your own uh, personal Jungle Cruise. Have some uh, taxidermy here mixed in with the uh, Disney nostalgia. There's another elk's head there. And uh, look at this, this crazy forehead here. That's terrifying. I remember growing up, uh, my stepdad's, uh, my stepdad's uncle had a, uh, a boar's head on the wall. And I remember that was, that kind of, kind of introduced me to taxidermy. I was afraid, first I was afraid to go into the room. I didn't want to go in the room because I was afraid of the boar's head on the wall. And then slowly I became more comfortable with it. I would go into the room and I would stare at it. I couldn't, couldn't pay attention to anything else. I'd go in that room and I, I, I would just stare at that board's head and, uh, and you know, cause I didn't want to turn, I didn't want to, didn't want to, you know, move my gaze. Cause I just, I was, I was uncertain. I didn't trust it. And eventually it got to a point. I remember, I remember the day, one day we went over there and I built up enough courage where I had an adult lift me up and I touched it on the nose. I could feel it wasn't alive, feel what it was. And uh, I think that began my, my long running fascination with uh, taxidermy. Here in the back of the mall is where they have some very impressive uh, theme park artifacts. And these Christmas trees, they say Margaritaville. So apparently you can get the uh, Margaritaville Christmas trees to, uh, to decorate your home. You can see a scarecrow there. Yeah, Universal did a scarecrow hunt, I think for a couple years. Last year they did the little boo hunt, but uh, part of that you had to, to uh, find the different scarecrows around the park. So they have some of the scarecrows here. It says that, uh, yeah, this, this giant spider here. It said this was from 2022 um, scarecrow event. But yeah, that spider is pretty terrifying. A pumpkin, pumpkin, uh, colored uh, spider. Yeah, just different signs and things, little pieces of signage that would have been around the Universal Park. Let's see, uh, yeah, I think these are the signs that would describe the, uh, the scarecrows. Yeah, other random bits of theme park history there. These are just phones from the hotel rooms at Disney. This is from Disney's East Club Resort. Oh, oh, oh. This is getting out of hand, okay. Hang that up. But yeah, you get the, the old hotel phones from Disney. And just look at this collection back uh, back in here. I just mentioned the, uh, the little boos from the little, blue, little boo hunt. I remember hunting these guys down. Here's the one from the Chocolate Emporium. There's the Men in Black. Little Boo, he's an alien. He's got a tinfoil hat over his stem. He's got one of those tiny little Men in Black, uh, Men in Black guns. And then there is uh, his clown, clown Little Boo. Mixed in are some of the scarecrows from the uh, from the past years. There is uh, the Leprechaun Scarecrow dumping out coins. So cool. These all these little bits of uh, universal history. This, I guess, little boo that was. He's got almost got like a he's like a hot air balloon. I think he was at Islands. I think he was at Islands of Adventure. And then look at that little boo holding uh, holding the fish there. I remember I had a hard time for whatever reason. I had a really hard time finding this one. This is the uh, he was in the uh, store for the. The uh, the mummy ride in the gift shop for the mummy ride. And I could not find him. I had to ask the uh, 
had to ask the guy working the counter for help to find him. But wow. Yeah, just taking taking it all in. It does look I was I was misreading. I was looking at the it was a thousand I thought it was the, the little blue at the front was a thousand dollars, but I look closer. I think they're about two thousand a piece, which, you know, uh, understandable. Uh, understandable. Um, be really amazing to have. It'd be amazing to have a little boo in my bunker, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I have that sort of uh, <laughs> disposable income today. Wow. Now I remember this arcade game here. They had a uh, a scare zone that uh, that featured like arcade machines. I'm not sure where these ones are from. If uh, Anyone out there remembers? These are from Horror Nights. I don't remember what maze or scare zone they're from. It's, uh, it's Mrs. Dumpty, like uh, fake arcade game. That's kind of a takeoff of Humpty Dumpty and uh, and Pac-Man. There. Got another one over here, Scoopin' Sam. I'm curious if anyone uh, if anyone remembers what scare zone these were in, or 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 haunt. Have the uh, headless horseman scarecrow there, and then these are like Scooby-Doo villains. The uh, Dracula or vampire there, and then this guy here, kind of the classic brightly colored Scooby-Doo rubber mask villain. A lot of stuff here from the. Uh, Shrek 3D ride. I never got a chance to, never actually took the time to go in here. I kind of regret it now. They have the, the props here. So it was that, these like uh, prisons for the three pigs. There's brick, straw, and wood. And then a uh, Iron Maiden right there. And uh, they do have, still have some of the 3D glasses. These are $5 each. And this prop mirror here would have been used, I guess, as the magic mirror face in the Shrek 3D ride. But uh, I guess they've, they've stripped the magic out of it and it's just uh, left with the frame. Some chairs here, some dining chairs from, uh, from Disney. These are from the Grand Floridian. Now, I do like these. These are from the, uh, from the Ohana restaurant, which is one of my favorite restaurants on Disney, a Polynesian restaurant there. You can have a dining room chair. Oh, this one is pretty cool. This is a uh, Caribbean beach trunk dresser. It's shaped like a barrel. But look at all the, yeah, look at all those plugs and, and USB connectors there. That might be kind of nice. What is it? What do they want for this? 150? Some lamps from the hotel rooms there. That's the uh, Grand Floridian. It's got Mickey on it. And then the uh, Polynesian lamp there with the tiki figure. The uh, trundle bed here with uh, Dumbo, so you can uh, curl up next to Dumbo. See the characters up there. Goofy with a clown. Yeah, I think this sort of uh, sort of display is from like the, the Disney stores. What's this here? This State Fair? 87 Disneyland? State Fair and Disneyland. That doesn't quite compute in my brain. Why is there... What is State Fair Disneyland? Oh my gosh, look what we have in here. There is uh, Figment's face skin. That'd be like the uh, rubber that would go over you know, Figment's face, the animatronic face. That is... Wow, that is priceless right there. See these like hard hats as well that used on Disney property, but yeah, the figment there, that's amazing. Yeah, up there in the rafter, just see all the different uh, Disney characters. This is the Epcot flower and garden display prop oranges. So these oranges would have been like on the display there with the orange bird. Yeah, I got the orange bird right there. And they're selling these uh, fake oranges for $5 a piece. It's a paper mache 
Mickey Mouse head. You just, uh, whatever you do, don't wear that to the uh, Disney parks. It's more of these costume pieces. These are Chippendale's hands here. And uh, some actual uh, Mickey Mouse worn gloves. Check out this dragon here. He looks so excited. Who, who is he? Oh, I want to know who this is. I, there's no price tag on him, no label, no explanation on who this uh, super happy dragon is. Everyone knows. Everyone in the comment section knows where this uh, super happy dragon came from. Leave a comment in the comment section. I just noticed here behind him, there's a, for a chance to win 12 Dodge cars. The World's Fair host station. I think that'd be the New York. Would that be the New York World's Fair? It says the uh, Unisphere on it. Huh. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I can't, uh, <laughs> can't get away from this dragon. I love him. Yeah, another uh, another uh, cast member outfit. It's uh, the Fantasyland shirt there. This, uh, this poor raccoon here. That's, that's yeah, that's an interesting, interesting interpretation of a raccoon. Have a, a set of hitchhiking ghosts here. I see they plug in. They have cords. I don't know if they just light up, or maybe they uh, they do a little hitchhiking. But uh, very cool. Not sure again. Not sure where this would be from. It's like a Disney store or something of the like. But uh, yeah, definitely a big fan of the haunted mansion. And look what we have here. This is from Halloween Horror Nights 2019, which I think was the first year that I went to Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando. This is from the Rob Zombie Hellbilly Deluxe Scare Zone. It was a scare zone based after that specific Rob Zombie album, Hellbilly Deluxe, which is truly, a, truly an amazing, an amazing album, as well as it made an amazing scare zone too. Just a lot of fun visuals. But I guess this would be the uh, the Dragula from uh, that scare zone. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, so cool. It's just these bit, little bits of theme park history preserved here. Oh, look over here. I have the same clown. He's actually painted he's different colors. He's not the same color as this, but uh, oh yeah, I love this clown. I already have. I already have a similar one though. So. I mean, I don't need to like start a clown collection or anything like that. Now there's no vendors or customers permitted in this room, but I think we're permitted to peek back here. And uh, what is going on? Is this, first of all, this is a, a car from some ride. I don't know if that is from the Tomorrowland Speedway or something Disney related, but uh, you have this, this, this car vehicle here. There's some sort of Sasquatch or gorilla sitting on top. Yeah, that's yeah. I guess we don't talk about what uh, what happens in this room. I just wanted to say uh, goodbye to little Boo here. I um, I want you badly, but uh, I'm just not uh, not quite insane enough to uh, to, to, to spend two thousand dollars because I do want to be able to get back home but uh i'll uh, i'll always i'll always think about the time where i thought about cashing in my life savings to buy you <laughs> so we have uh come over here to the magic Kingdom. Yeah, after seeing those uh, priceless Disney artifacts, I figured we'd uh, we'd drive over to the uh, Magic Kingdom, and that's one reason. That's one reason I wanted to get an annual pass. One of the reasons I bit the bullet and went ahead and bought the annual pass is when I was buying tickets by the day, I, I would I would get there early as possible. I'd stay all night because I wanted to get my money's worth out of those tickets. But I think that's one of the, the appeals of having the annual pass is, you know, you can just decide, hey, I'd like to go over and hang out at the Magic Kingdom for a few hours. So I figured that's what we'd uh, do tonight. Come over here to the uh, Magic Kingdom, maybe walk around a little bit and, uh, and enjoy, maybe enjoy a few rides. So we showed up about six o'clock here. You can see the uh, the lights coming on. A lot of people leaving the park right now. So maybe, uh, maybe it'll be a quiet uh, evening here at the park. Maybe not.
maybe it'll maybe there's still a lot of people in there it's actually perfect here this evening in the park the uh, the weather's amazing the temperature's great the sun's down so it's not shining in my eyeballs Perhaps you should take in an evening show here at the Enchanted Tiki Room. Head over here next door to uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And our chariot awaits. See that crab moving. That's a bird on his head. making rich people auction off their possessions. They used to they used to be auctioning off something else. Do I hear ten? A hen for a ten. Hen for a ten. I give you twenty for the wrong. Hot down, young lily livered lover. Strike your feathers, dear. Yeah. Women chasing pirates there. Oh, it's the treasure map for sure and no mistake. And by thunder, that scoundrel Captain Jack Sparrow will never pay a Johnny Depp peeking. Fire running for the woman with the broom there. This guy here is super drunk, hanging out with his cats. I just always love the how big the scenes are, how many animatronics there are. The donkey singing. Always love the guy wearing a million hats. It's another drunk guy, but he's hanging out with pigs instead of cats. Look at his dirty pirate foot there. Of course, these pirates here are trapped, trapped in a jail cell while this whole city's on fire. It's a very grim, 
situation. Their only chance at survival is to trick this dog into giving them the keys. There's Johnny Depp celebrating with all the money he won. This will be an exit to the piratey gift shop here. Just notice this shirt, Fear the Beard. And it's just, I don't know, I, I almost did a double take. Is this supposed to be like a Duck Dynasty reference? It even says, or there be trouble, Jack. Because uh, Uncle Cy always said Jack. I don't know. Just reminds me of Duck Dynasty, I guess. Of course, the last time I was here at Magic Kingdom was for the final night of the Country Bear Jamboree. It still stands here looking, uh, looking how it did. It will soon be replaced by a new show, the Country Bear Musical Jamboree. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the new show, but it does make me a little sad uh, seeing this closed down. Of course, I think one of the lesser known uh, attractions over here in Magic Kingdom, the Frontierland Shooting Arcade. It's a shooting gallery. It used to cost uh, it used to cost money to additional money to play, but uh, it's actually they've set it on free play now, so you can just blast away to your heart's content. Get our rifle, rifle here. Let's see. Uh, release, reckless abandon onto the. Oh, look at that skeleton head. He's pretty spooky. Getting a little bit hungry. I think we will pop in here to the Columbia Harbor House and get us some uh, some dinner. And I do enjoy the Harbor House. There's always plenty of open tables here in the dining room. Instead, we're here next to this cool uh, ship model. All right, so I got the grilled salmon here. Instead of rice, I usually come with rice and green beans. I got the extra green beans, so it's on a wonderful bed of green beans there. And I also added on a bowl of clam chowder. All right. I've had the salmon here before. It was really good last time. It's delicious. And plenty of green beans to go around. Try some of this clam chowder as well. Mm, very tasty. This is one of the reasons I love coming to uh, Disney World at night. Everyone is going to uh, to get in place to watch the fireworks show, and in the meantime, all the rides wait times seriously drop. It's only a 20 minute wait on Peter Pan's flight. Normally that's over an hour all day long. So let's hop aboard a pirate ship here on Peter Pan's flight. Some butter. Oh, look at that. I caught a butterfly there on my hand. Oh, what's these? Some bells. All right, let's find us a. Uh, pirate ship to hop aboard. All right, and our chariot awaits. Here we go. Into the bedroom here. Off to Neverland. Going off to Neverland here. Can't see anything in front because of the sail of the ship. You have to look to the sides here. There's Nana the dog. So we're soaring over London here. Big Ben down there underneath us. I've never been to London. Maybe someday, someday I need to check it out. And here we arrive in Neverland. Ooh, down to the volcano there. We got a little pirate ship. There's a Captain Hook and a pirate ship underneath us. Yeah, over there we got the, the Lost Boys. Mermaids. Now, one in the middle looks suspiciously like Ariel from The Little Mermaid. The uh, Native Americans over here. Oh, 
now they're making Wendy walk the plank. Look at all those scurvy pirates. Peter Pan fighting the hook up there. A lot of pirate themed rides here at Disney World. Oh, watch out for the, the, the crocodile. Peter Pan has uh, procured ownership of the pirate ship. There's Shmi. You see uh, Captain Hook being eaten alive by a crocodile. Help me, Mr. Shmi, help me! see some of the fireworks here from uh, different vantage points in the park. I figure we will uh, get our poo on here. Gophers in here? Oh, there's a gopher. There are other gophers here in the hole. Oh, there's one. There, oh, there we go. They're all popping up now. And our honey pot awaits. Oh, yes, I got the whole honey pot to myself. All right, I don't think I've ever had the whole honey pot to myself. I'm, uh, okay. I'm really excited. Okay. You are there. It's a very blustery day here. Oh no, Bruce, Bruce, uh, blowing away into the collapsing house here. This owl's owl's house. Oh yeah. Hang in there, owl. Oh, there he is. Me hey, Tigger. Oh, we're gonna bounce. Woohoo! That Tigger hiding there. Hey, buddy. Oh, jump scared me. He's tackled, tackled Boo there. Watch out for half a loaf of the woozles. Watch out for half a loaf of the Look at that, Boo's got a gun. See the soul leaving Boo's body. Heffalumps and woozles? Oh my gosh. Uh oh, this elephant gonna, gonna snort at us? Well, sometimes he blows a poof of smoke. Look at that. That's a heffalump, that's a woozle. I think, or is it, no, that's a heffalump and that's a woozle. This big uh, hot air balloon here. Evil looking watering cans. Is your honey pot bobbing along in the water here. Uh, hang in there, guys. Hanging on to Eeyore's tail. Oh, look at that poo once again, stuck in a hole. Rain went away, and everyone gathered together to say, Hooray for Poo! Hey, Poo, silly old bear. Not the antique mall. We saw the old ride vehicles for the uh, Astro Orbiter, and you know what? I've maybe rode the Astro Orbiter one time that I, in my life. So you know what? Let's end the evening with a ride in the good old Astro Orbiter. There, the queue line's kind of weird because you have to take an elevator up to the top to get on the ride. So the queue's here on the bottom, and when it's your turn, you get in the elevator, go to the top, and get on the ride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find us a rocket. How about this one? All right, looks like we got a steering wheel down here. I guess the, oh, that's a lever. It makes us go up or down. Oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna pull the lever here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Let's just go. Let's just go for it. Woohoo! Oh, wow. Actually, actually, a beautiful view from up here of the whole park. Kind of a 360 view. There's like a space mountain, like a temporary. Oh my gosh. Right next to this big thing right here. Wee -hee -hee. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is a lot of fun. 
it's just uh, the, the queue line is kind of kind of uh, obnoxious. It's a long wait. It takes forever to get up here. But for the few minutes that you're in the rocket, it's pretty fun. Yeah, look at this. Oh, you can see almost oh, it's so bad. It's everything. Woo! It's a contemporary. Here's uh, Crystal Palace. It's a castle. Uh, Tron, Space Mountain. Yeah, it's all there. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, we're going down. Go down, I go. Oh, jeez. Coming hot there at the end. So I want to thank everyone for joining me today. This is this is my favorite time to, to come to Disney. I like to come here in uh, in the late evening. So and that way the the annual pass uh, serves me well because you know I, did, I didn't show up here at about six o'clock. It's uh, I think about about nine o'clock right now. So I've been here about three hours. I've got to do quite a bit. Uh, you just gotta you know come at the right time. A lot of times you come in the middle of the day, around noon, like late morning early afternoon, things get really busy, end up waiting in long lines. So, I don't know, I like to come at that very end of the night, when it's when it's dark, when it's cool, and uh, kind of enjoy the shorter the shorter lines when they have the fireworks. I have missed the fireworks so many times because I want to take advantage of uh, the, the lower wait times. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming along. Um, if you like these videos, please subscribe. I, travel around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun random stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, doing personalized messages on Cameo. And uh, all those things, you know? They help keep this train on the track, this boat on the water, and this Astro Orbiter in the air. Till next time, my friends. This one's in the bag.